In this video, we're going to continue on how we create an SXA multi-site implementation using SXA 1.8 and we're going to see how to create content pages. Content pages will be based on the page layout we've seen in the previous video, so let's get started. So I might have different types of content pages, so I might have a full width content page like the one in the middle here, I might have one with left navigation, one with a placeholder for related links and so on. So you really have different types of content pages that you might want to implement. So let's see how this would be done in Sitecore and SXA 1.8. So the first thing I did was I cloned the page content and created something called page content structure. And within that, I created a couple of rendering variants. So I have a content page rendering variant, a content page with navigation, and a content page with related links. Content page is pretty simple. So what I did was I just created a class called one call, a div class one call, and then within that component content row, and then my image wrapper, which just hosts my image in case there is a large image within that page, and then content, which shows all the content, and then info, which is a placeholder in case anyone wants to insert other components within that page. Content page with related links is also very similar. I just change it from one call to two call right now, and then you have component content row main with exactly the same info that's here and then related which has a placeholder for the right side related links. The one that's a bit different was the content page with navigation. What we have here is we wanted to add a short description at the top and then have a collapsible navigation. So in that collapsible navigation you have the navigation component and you have the content which is again similar to what we had previously. But if you look closely within that navigation component, what we've done here is we've created a sidebar navigation, very similar to the out of the box one. But if you can see here, navigation root is actually added as hash hash parent item hash hash. Now that's not something in Sitecore because if you look at how navigation gets its data source, is actually or its root it's actually based on the start page here and if it's empty it's going to be the site home page and this is not what we wanted what we wanted to achieve is we wanted to get all the siblings of the current content page to, so that you can actually navigate between these different siblings so what we've done here is we've actually overridden the render component uh, pipeline so that we can make it understand what parent item is let's see how this is done in code so what we've done here is we created this c -sharp project and within that c -sharp project we've created an app config include and then we'll see that we've patched instead for the processor of the render component so I just actually haven't added this here yet but render component can be overridden here and then we just create a new class called render component that inherits from render component field and then override the render field function. And within that, we'll just do a check. So I have a couple of items here that I'm checking. So overriding the update search and overriding the update search results and which we're going to talk about later on when we talk about listing pages and override the sidebar navigation. So as you can see here, I'm saying if varying component field of rendering parameters navigation root does not equal null and navigation root is equal to the hash hash parent item this means that I want to replace it just get the context.item.parent.id and put it as the navigation root so ultimately I said that my root of this navigation should be my parent so that it gets all the siblings or the children of my parents and there you have it this is how we created content pages again it's very simple the next step we just created this is like the most complex part of it the next thing we did was of course we created our partial designs and our page designs. so within content pages you see here we have content page content page with navigation and content page with related links and again same as what we've done previously is the base partial design is our layout which we talked about in the last video and as you can see within its presentation details it will only have the co page content structure while changing the rendering variant based on which rendering variant I want so here it has content page with related links the other one content page with navigation and the last one is content page and then of course I created my page designs 
So as again, all I'm doing here is just creating the content page uh, page design, which has metadata header, footer, and then whichever partial design based on whether it's content page, content page with navigation, or content page with related links. This gives you the flexibility to firstly change the page design will then change for you automatically the page content structure. And the second thing is it will give you the flexibility to change or update your page content directly from the rendering variant and everything else would work seamlessly. Thank you for watching the video and hope you, I hope you enjoyed it.